Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and first look at this, the Nest thermostat. Now I am super, super excited about this because I love being able to automate things within my house. Now I've already got my lights automated courtesy of Philips Hue and I've also got things like my home security pushing images and video up to the cloud. Well this is the next step in the equation. I've got a Nest Protect, which is a smoke alarm and carbon monoxide detector, and the Nest Learning Thermostat has just arrived in the UK. And this is it. So I'm going to unbox it and take a closer look. So here we go. We've got two boxes here. Now you don't need both of these products. You need this one. This is the Learning Thermostat. This is the stand for the Nest Thermostat. Now you can obviously mount this on a wall, but this little stand allows you to be able to sort of take it around and try it in different rooms to find the optimal location for it. Now this particular portion is wireless, so you'll see how that works in a short while. Before I unbox these, I'll just let you know that for the launch in the UK, there is a little bit of a special offer and it runs through to 8th of April, 2014. And that is if you order this, Nest actually recommends you get it installed by a qualified gas engineer. And for the special offer period, you actually get free installation, which has a value of 70 pounds. So do bear that in mind if you're considering buying one of these. So let's move this to the back. We're gonna unbox this one first. We do the little box first. This is the stand. It's 29 pounds in the UK store. And as we unbox this, first of all, we're presented with a guide and warranty. And we've got a little bit of packaging. Inside this packaging, we've got two little screws that are used for the installation. And then we've got the stand itself. And that is all that is in this box. So the stand has got some nice weight to it. This is obviously where the learning thermostat's gonna sit on this back plate here. It's very glossy, mirrored sort of finish on here. And then round the back, we've got the Nest logo. And then we've also got some cable management on here as well. And you'll, you'll understand why there's some cable management when I show you the actual learning thermostat. So that's the stand, in my opinion, 29 pounds, a little bit expensive, but it feels very well made. It's a nice quality product, so it's not too bad. So let's just pop that off to one side. Now we'll have a look at the star of the show, the actual learning thermostat itself. Now before we unbox this, let's just have a look around the back. It says here, uh, heating makes up over 60% of your energy bill. Very, very true. About £1,340 a year. That sounds pretty accurate. But heating controls have scarcely changed in decades. It's a broken system, so we're reinventing it. And this actually learns as you turn up and down the heat in your home and sets the program according to the changes you've made. It also turns the heating off when you leave, leave your home as well. And there are some third party apps that also help with the functionality of this. So let's remove this colored sleeve. And then we've got a brown box inside. Now there is normally a seal to cut through, but I've already cut through that. And let's have a look inside this brown box. So the first thing we're presented with is the actual learning thermostat front and center. It's a little plastic cover to keep it nice during transit. So let's just remove this. Now this is what it looks like. This is the screen area here. I'm not gonna be able to power this on at the moment. Uh, it's also got a little portion that you can remove, but I'm gonna leave that on for the installation engineer to do that. And then we've got this sort of metal rim that goes around the thermostat. And then on the back here, we've got some sort of proprietary connector for data. And then we've also got the micro USB for powering or charging the device. So let's pop that to one side. Oh, and this, just to quickly show you, so this is the stand. You can obviously mount this on the wall, but this obviously goes into the stand like so and then it will sort of stand nicely on a, a table or a desk. Further down into the box, we have got an envelope, and inside this envelope, we have got an installation step-by-step -step guide and a wiring guide as well. This is really handy because you can install it yourself, but it is just recommended you get somebody qualified to do this. Then we've just got some extra information about the system. And then we're presented with this, so very ni nicely packaged. We've got some screws, which I'll just quickly remove. So we've got two different types of screws, these sort of flat head ones. They're, they're, sorry, they're cross threaded, but they've got like a flat tipped head on them. So I'm not sure what they're gonna be used for at this stage, but we've got four of those in total. So four of this type of screw. And then we've got some slightly different screws. 
which are uh, if I can just remove this one there we go so we've got slightly different ones these are just sort of flat on the base and we've got two of these in total again crosshead on the top so Phillips screwdriver required and then we've got a little power adapter this is a three pin one so if you're ordering this in another country you're going to have a country country specific one of these and then it's usb on the top full size usb and then we've got what is the control box so this is the part that is going to actually be installed near to your combination boiler or your central heating system now if you're worried about this working with your particular brand of central heating there are uh, help pages on the Nest website so you can check that yours is going to be compatible. And if in doubt, contact their customer service before you actually order it. I'm not going to take this apart. I'm going to leave this sealed for the engineer to look at. But this is going to have all of the connectors inside for connecting it to your combination boiler. And then we have also got another bit here. Now this says here, only connect to... Uh, 12 volt wires or USB do not connect to 230 volts. So this is the bit that's going to go on the back of the Nest Learning Thermostat. And this has got the, uh, uh, I assume, a pass-through. Actually, let's have a little look. Now, it's just a ring. Let me just open this up. I'll replace this for the engineer. So here we go. So this is the portion that's either going to connect to the stand or to your wall. There's a little spirit or bubble level in there as well so you can make sure it's level when you attach it to the wall and then we've got the connector here which is going to go into that multi connector i showed you a short while ago and again some cable management coming up the back there so there we go so that's a, another additional piece of the jigsaw puzzle let's just remove this and we've got yet more in the bottom part of this box we've got a little package here these are just cable clips to keep the cables tidy and then inside here, we've got a full size USB to micro USB cable. So this is gonna be used for either powering or charging the thermostat. And then last but not least, so now we've got an empty box. We have got the backing plate. This is really nice that they include this because if you're removing an old sort of program timer that's normally gonna be larger than something like this, uh, sometimes you won't have the wall decorated properly. So this is like a, a backing plate. So this will cover up any sort of undecorated bits. Obviously you mount this to the wall and then you mount the other pieces in turn to this if you're having it mounted on a wall that is. So it looks very, very neat. And if you imagine that on your wall with then the Nest thermostat on top, a very, very cool solution. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to getting this installed and I will do another video in probably two or three weeks time and let you know how I'm getting on with it and how well it's integrated into actually controlling our home central heating system. So thanks very much for watching. Please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geek Noise channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.